like that, don't you? Oh, shit! Yo, you got a dog? Nope. I'm just a naughty little newbie waiting for the NSA to penetrate my ports. Citizens of the world, are you ready for dead sex? Yo, I didn't think this was your style. Relax, he's cool. The point is, it's a branding problem. And if somebody wants to fuck us over, I'd rather they do it to my face. <laughs> the director's a real art house shit stain and stalker extraordinaire. If you humiliate him on camera, you get more followers. I don't like the guy much. He hurt one of my friends in the industry, turned her into an addict. So I trashed his accounts. One thing led to another. And Wrench and I firebombed his 1972 Cadillac. <laughs> God, that thing burned beautifully. Score one for Sitar. Hmm. He's filming down the street at BDS Mania. Make it spectacular, Marcus. Hey, wait, this is a pawn shop for porn stars? I live in this great state. We'll rumble with the nerd. What happened to your friend? Did you get her help? Stayed up long nights with her. Got her clean. It was hell, but we got through it. The problem is, someone who's been through that once, all it takes is a bad mood swing, and they've fallen off the wagon again. So she hasn't recovered? Most of the time. She's making progress, but he really fucked her up. I do think humiliating this asshole is gonna help with the healing. Consider it done.
like the crew's having some kind of rooftop party. Maybe your guy's out here somewhere. He won't be. Unless it's on set, he avoids social interaction like the plague. If they're shooting anything inside, that's where you'll find him. Total control freak. Prop, right? There's AI in there. So? I know it's not possible yet, but imagine if that thing is traumatized by all the shit they make it do in here. If I'm a robot forced to work at jobs, I could think of way worse ones. At least it's not on some battlefield. That's true. Although you may be onto something. Sorry. My bad. Where's Skills Alejandro? Yeah. Filming the dead side feature. Do. Yeah. do yourself a favor. Okay. Let's see the magic being made. So I need to find dirt on what's his name? Alejandro Jakovsky. <laughs> right. And then spank him, literally, and film it. I need it for my video. You sure you don't want to be the one doing this? She would smash his skull into tiny pieces, which doesn't work as well for our image, as fun as it sounds. He's not exaggerating. Right. So that means I need to try to isolate him. If he's busy filming, I'm gonna have to do a little social engineering. I got a plan. Let's hear it. It involves a little disguise work, a little gumption, and a whole lot of fluffing. Man, fuck you. Hey, when you're faced with the shaky ladder, you need to get a firm grip on the rungs. Son? No, right, just no. Let's go, sex bot. Show me your secrets. Tara, my alien sex tentacle robot got me into BDSM's bookkeeping. A huge chunk of profit money was deposited recently. He's been playing dirty. I passed it along to one of our dummy accounts. You can pick the charity and redistribute. That's so sweet. I know just the one. Also, alien sex tentacle robot. I've named him Pokey. <laughs> of course you did. What's next? Well, now that the money's gone, I'll use it to scare Mr. Jackofsky off the set. Kind of a free ticket to Spank City. That's an excellent porno title. Let's crowdfund it. Consider it back. What are the tier rewards? Hey, one thing at a time, people. <laughs> Just improv. Nobody cares about the script anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
Safety first and all that horse shit, but don't go easy on her. This one could take a hit, trust me. I have first hand experience. So have made some changes to the script. Fuck me. Why do they even have the script? I told you nobody Russian sees the damn thing before I film. Because they demanded it. And these people will shoot the messenger. Fuck. Fuck. I'll deal with it. Go. Okay? For which shoot? Daniela's Inferno. Well, that's green screen. Yeah. Oh, so don't use the green one. Time for your close-up. Who the fuck are you? Oh shit, you're dead sick. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Hey, you know, I heard you really like it rough, right? So I was wondering if you could take it as much as you can dish it. Oh, it's time to join Dead Sec. It's your initiation. So I'm thinking he should join us. So listen, director, I'm in charge of this film, and here, I want you to say I love Dead Sec every time you feel a little <clears throat> back there, okay? So what are you going to say? Let's just go straight into shooting. No rehearsal. I, I, I love Dead Sec. You 
know your lines. You're off book already. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> you are really good. You're a hell of an actor. Have you been mm -hmm. on the other side of the camera? Yeah, I am making <laughs> pay. One more for oh. good measure. Hey. All right, all right. I think we got I all the footage we need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is great. Uh, yeah. Ha! Woo! Whoa! Ha! Whoa! Uh. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Felt it too. Youch. We've been looking through Jakovsky's Ooh, files. Bam. He has some very questionable business partners. It'll take a while to get through them all. In the meantime, our video is almost ready. Just waiting on you to come home. Hey, I have a question. Do you think he became a pornography director because his last name was Jakovsky? Or is it just a coincidence? Ha! <laughs> Han, it's an alias he uses to sell his brand. His real last name is... Spagitsky. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh no! Oh! <laughs> Jackass! <laughs> oh man! Apparently, our home CEO tested his new software on his own family. You're joking. His wife filed for divorce this morning, citing illegal surveillance of a minor. Whoa, so he's looking at jail time? It's all conjecture right now, but it seems possible. Turns out, secretly spying on people tends to make them a little angry. Mm, who would have guessed? I think he's gonna need one of those inflatable donut things. You know, can't put too much pressure on the cheek when you sit down for the deuce. All right, people, drop what you're doing and gather round. Think fast. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Citizens of the digital age, welcome, welcome. This is a message to all who would oppose dead sex. You target one of us, you target us all. Let's see what acclaimed porn director and human shit stain Alejandro Dukovsky has to say about his recent attempt to harass one of our members. Alejandro here is getting a taste of what he puts his own actors through. When you're as much of a sadist dickwad as he is, it's important to be able to take as much as you hand out. Our message is simple. Don't fuck with dead sec. We give you the truth. Do what you will. Hey, buddy. You got a light? Yeah, sorry, brother. We got him. Bring the van. Hey, where's my ten bucks? Fuck! 
Need to shut this down fast or I'm dead. Okay, stalled it. But how do I kill it? Guys, the Bratva grabbed me. Tried to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. It's gotta be in there somewhere. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, not my finest moment. Ain't nobody's ever punched a hole in the wall for me before. Thanks, Wrench. Yeah, don't mention it.
What did you say? There's my gear. I'm telling you, I've got the best security guys in the business. Dead sec humiliated me, sure. They fucked up my movie production, fucked up my reputation. Ha ha, I lose, I get it. But it doesn't touch you guys, I promise. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't keep anything like that on my computer that would risk our relationship. You know that, right? Give me a call back. You're freaking Get me out. Get down right now. I think I'm clear now. Find anything? Yes. Alejandro Tchaikovsky. Bigger creep than we thought. Turns out Jakovsky uses illegal Russian immigrants in some of his films, trading passports for performances. It's all documented. And of course the damn Bradfa made all that happen. Look. Well, I think that gives us more than enough reason to hit him back. Duh. I'm coming to see you so we can figure this thing out. Okay. Okay, that's that's one way to do no, it. No, 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 that's the only way to do it. All right, fast and mean. This one's mine, Marcus. Marcus, don't you fucking sideline on this one, bud. Hey, okay? this one's mine. All right, all right, fine. We do it French style. What do you need? All right. Okay, well, Satara linked a bunch of house sales to one guy, Rafa Royalty. <laughs> so you, you literally want to burn that shit to the ground? French style, baby. Okay, all right. Hey, let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, too bad. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Cool. Go get set up. Marcus, do you want to handle a little escalating situation while I prepare the boom booms? What kind of situation? Big movement on the Bratva front. We've got a tail on them, but we need somebody with uh, problem solving skills to take over on the ground. On my way.
guys, they are waging war on us. This is getting out of control. We just had another abduction attempt on a DedSec member, and now I'm hearing an affiliated makerspace has been firebombed. I'm gonna hit the streets. Our servers are being DDoSed too. This is a major, coordinated attack. I'm trying to spoof the IP and route them towards the Great Firewall of China. Smart hey, thinking. What's new with you? That's a firewall that fires back. I'm gonna see what I can do to help the kid. I'm not a kid. This is all our war. We need to make an impact. Wrench, I'll join you when I'm done. I was hoping you'd come my way. looking at here. They've got several cars down there, covered in dead sec tags. Shit. They're gonna try to frame us then. I'll head in there and do a little sabotage. You see anything else? Usual. Drugs and guns. Enough to make me hang back, that's for sure. So they've got merch here. <laughs> that's good. I'm gonna make fucking with dead sec very expensive for the brava. I like the sound of that. Marcus, you got a plan? Yep. Cripple the Bratva in any way possible and keep him from framing us. Wreck the cars and the drugs. Aight. Cars and drugs. Cars and drugs. I think of abject poverty. I found some junkie shooting up outside some tech firm. God says it all, doesn't it? You like that, don't you? Oh, really? And you're so perfect?
Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit! <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. All right, Bratva's frame job op is over, along with a lot of their product. This is gonna cost them big. I hacked CTOS traffic cams to hunt down our fire bomber. He's definitely Bratva. I tipped off the cops and sent them all his records. Let's hope they take just a few bites out of our Russian friends. Just to be safe, I put a notice out to our DeadSec channels for everybody to stay alert. Meanwhile, the Bratva hackers are completely killing their own network by mistakenly attacking China. Watching the shots go back and forth is strangely soothing. Kid, we make a good team. In fact, you remind me of a young Raymond Kenny. Well, minus the beard and the swagger. I'm not a kid. Can you teach me to swagger? Oh, without a doubt. Ah, damn it. Everyone got their shit done but me. Still, I promise mine's going to have the most bang for the buck. Marcus, I need your help. Meet me in Marine. Hey, Wrench, I see you. Marcus, you have the rare pleasure of watching a demolition master in his natural environment. Damn, this baby's gonna pack such a punch! Now, the thing about these crazy mafia hooligans, they are always stocked up on the best boom-boom ingredients. And I've thrown a little of my own magic dust in there to sign my art. <laughs> it's a privilege watching the master at work. Whose place is this, anyway? Ah, uh, my best guess? Bratva probably use these places to put up the Russian Mafia's most powerful cretins when they come down to babysit. They're filled with the best shit money can buy, but currently vacant. We need to keep them that way, which is where you come in. Now, I've got dead sex setting of similar bonds and similar Bratva houses all around the neighborhood, but we need you to draw attention away from us. I like attention. I'm on it. I can't believe I'm doing this to myself. <sighs> Here goes. Wrench, they took the bait. Excellent. The more they're trying to kill you, the more time I have to fuck with their toys. <laughs> Glad I could help, man.
find your location. You're off the way. Like that, don't you? Oh shit! Yo, you got a dog? Nope. I'm just a naughty little newbie waiting for the NSA to penetrate my ports. Citizens of the world, are you ready for dead sex? Yo, I didn't think this was your style. Relax, he's cool. The point is, it's a branding problem. And if somebody wants to fuck us over, I'd rather they do it to my face. <laughs> the director's a real art house shit stain and stalker.
units, 1029. We have information on a known criminal. Relaying the CTOS coordinates now. Got the USS Drug Belly. <laughs> Bringing her to you. Just in time. We're setting up now. I'm way ahead of you. Damn. Come on. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up? How you doing? Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> right That's on. right, I'm the best. Going on. Oh, Wrench, where you at, man? Yo, you're late, Marky Mark. 
As much as I enjoy our right. banter and <clears throat> underlying sexual tension, I'm hurt. I thought we moved on to overt sexual tension. Marcus, there's something I want to show you. On my laptop, dude. Oh, were you? <laughs> Pull up a chair and prepare yourself for the breathtaking, spine tingling, and almost entirely mind numbing noodle keynote. Cue it up. You all told us hey, self driving cars sound pretty cool. <laughs> but we have always prided ourselves in delivering the best. What do you think of a car that knows you, knows who you are? The kind this of security that awesome. only Very biometrics yeah. can give you. Your key is you. And in the morning, you want time to read the news and drink your coffee while it safely drives you to work. It will remember your preferences and save them right into your biometric profile. For those who opt into the CTOS insurance programs, you get good driver discount automatically and access to fast transit lanes. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Because at Noodle, we don't wait for the future. We build it. Huh. So they want to add biometric data on top of those CTOS monitoring systems? Yep, because that couldn't possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we all know how altruistic CTOS is, right? Oh, and insurance companies. And how they would never, ever use our biometric data for their own nefarious purposes, right? Yeah, milk of human kindness and all that shit. There is something wrong in the state of Denmark. Maybe, uh, some daring vigilantes should check it out. Maybe, perhaps steal a cool car while we're at it? Because, you know, auto theft's always fun. Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, Marcus. Tara, what you got for me? Well, it's a good thing you like driving. Looks like the lead engineer on the biometric car project is a loyal customer of Driver SF. Is that right? Sure is. Ooh, and I just may have set up a script bad. to reroute his ride requests to you first. Slick. Only the best for DeadSec. Check the Driver SF app on your phone oh, when you're ready. Shit. <laughs> So I'm gonna need to convince him to take us to his office, right? Yes, but we've already got a plan. That we do. <laughs> Ray, you in on this one? Well, it's like Ranch says, car theft is always fun. The plan is that we hack this guy's phone. Right, he set off the alerts on his phone saying his computer at work is getting hacked. Which makes him freak out and race into work. But we won't actually hack his computer because we don't really need to. Exactly. We just need him to think it's been hacked. I like it. Well, all you gotta do is distract him so we can hack into his phone. So 
So, uh, where am I taking you, man? Hot date tonight? My girlfriend just broke up with me. How am I gonna get this guy talking? Well, yeah, had a bad experience, you know, and took a break. Yeah, I can imagine you'd see all sorts of shit driving people around. What happened? Oh, hell yeah! All sorts of shit? Last one was a bunch of drunk guys. Mm hmm All yelling and hollering at each other about some, some sort of art car they were working on. Oh, for that uh, desert festival? Yeah! So the two of them are yelling about LEDs and animatronics and sand and yeah, what kind of drugs people should be on to view their art car. Seriously? They talked about what drugs people would be on? To tailor the experience for the right kind of hallucinations or something? Yeah, exactly that. Then one guy, he punches the other guy right in the mouth. What? So there's blood going everywhere. Meanwhile, the guy who threw the punch is whimpering that he broke his knuckles. Shit. I know, right? So I end up driving them to the nearest emergency room and get this. Yeah? They both try to hug me when I drop them off. Wow. Oh, uh, sorry. My alarm just went off. Have to check this. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! We gotta change direction, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need to get to work. No problem. Updated the destination in the app. I got it. No worries. We'll get you there. Shit! Somebody's breached security. Take it easy! Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's that's how it always happens. Can't believe this is happening now. We have deadlines, massive deadlines. Yeah, man, that sucks. I hate this project. Why did I ever say I'd be lead? Uh, can you go any faster? I'll try. Shit. Speed up. I'm trying it. I'm in a real hurry. I'm okay with you speeding faster, please. Almost there. You're a lifesaver, man. I am totally giving you a five star review on the app. No problem. It's my job after all the best. And here we are at Coda Print. Okay then. Go! That fucked up. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us didn't. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Wow, guys, you all just made my day. It just means so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well, maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a bit early in our relationship to be throwing words like love around. Take your time. I appreciate a man who has patience. Oh, well, this very patient man has work to do. 
Right there!
doing some nature photography business. Crazy to leave Noodle for something like that? But I guess being in his ground floor at Noodle means you can do whatever you want and never have to work again. Damn stock options. <sighs> Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon, we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car. So, Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. There it is! Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life there score. There it is! They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, Gender. Fuck. Let me guess. Me and Ray get into an accident. One of us on either side. I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. No, not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Blue. My life score is pretty damn low. So, in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist. Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Right. I'll get on it. Sending you his address now. 